Hey guys, so I'm just going to be talking about the PowerCab Plus today. It's a great FRFR speaker from Line 6. It's just come out. Um, I love it. I've been waiting a week, so I have mine on pre-order for quite a long time. Uh, it's a great speaker. I thought they were going to release something like this at NAMM 2018 and nothing came out, so I was quite disappointed. Uh, there was the head rush, but um, I, I just thought I'd wait a bit longer and I'm glad I did because Line 6 did come out with a really fantastic, fantastic product. So, so yes, yeah, so I'm controlling it through my, um, my Helix LT. I'm doing that through, through uh, MIDI, which is my yellow, my yellow cable here. And that goes back into the back of the, the power cab. So if I just climb over here, you can see um, I've, I've got two MIDIs in because I'm, I'm passing through as well. Purple lead is the XLR out um, just for recording. And the other one here, where is it? Just this one here. That's my um, Helix using the XLR proprietary link. Now for controlling the power cab, I'm sure Line 6 will if they haven't already, I'm pretty sure they haven't, um, provide control um, to the power cab through their Line 6 connection, um, which is the XLR cable. But at the moment, I don't think there is. So we have to do it through MIDI. Um, I love the Helix LT. I love the modeling stuff. I do like your traditional sort of um, valve sounds as well, but I, mean, I kind of mix it all up here. Um, from a control point of view, I'm actually controlling the power cab through my Helix and also through my um, Mini, my uh, Akai Mini. So for example, if I want a flat response, just press that and that's into flat. I can go through my difference, that's probably a vintage. Yeah, and I can just, I can just toggle through them, Cream or Jarvis or whatever, whatever I want. And it's just, it's just easier for me rather than sort of fiddling around over there. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, let's think about how to how to load up a, an impulse response onto the power cap, and then we'll look at how we can um, change the different um, patches on the power cap through the helix. Okay, so let's look at the uh, power cap edit software. What I want to do now is I'm going to load up an impulse, my own impulse response and put it into the power cab. So you click on impulses and I'm gonna put it in number 16 because it's empty. Click on user impulse responses. No, you don't, you click on import and then you find the directory which is here for me. It only works on 48 kilohertz. So make sure you're looking at the 48 kilohertz directory or just get errors. Choose what you want, let's go for this one. 5A, and that's in 16. So when I go back to presets, and I'm going to come into here, into new preset, double click it, and then I'm going to click on user IR, and I go back into 16, which is where I've just put it. So there it is there, and I'm going to call this uh, power cab PC test. Enter and then click save. And it's as simple as that. So now my, my power cab um, Mesa Boogie impulse response is in number 14. And I can also set low cut, high cut level, etc. But let's just keep it simple. And we'll just have that as the impulse response. Okay, now what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna jump into hex edit. And I'm just going to keep it really simple. Again, I'm just going to put in, um, I don't know, an AC30 or something. So let's just do that. And maybe some old um, legacy reverb, quite like that. And that should do us. So let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so one thing we need to do before this will work properly is to change the settings of the Helix because we don't want the Helix by default sending out um, lots of MIDI messages every time I change a patch. So go to global settings and then you want to go to MIDI here 
and you want to go to the next page and make sure MIDI PC send is off. I mean, you could have it just on USB maybe, um, but I've just got mine off. So, how do we load up the different um, power cab patches from the Helix? It's very easy. All we need to do is we go into our HX Edit and we just choose, go to Command Center and you just go to Bank Program and you just set the program to be whatever it is you want. So if I want the, um, the Essex or the Cream, or the green, or whatever. Let's put on. Um, let's have a look at the manual. Where's the manual? There we go. So it's naught. So it's so um, flat is naught. One, two, three. So let's put three on, which is um, three. It's already there. Okay. So click done, and click save. Okay. So now if I go to a different preset and um, let's just for the sake of argument I'll put flat back on and if you look at this you'll be able to see the cabinet moving so I'm on flat you can see flats highlighted but if I go back to my new PC test here it jumps to number three which is the Jarvis. Okay. Or if I want to use my um, um, my Mesa Boogie amp, which was this one here, I'll just change it to 14. So come back in here, Window Command Center, just set that to 14. Done. Save. So now if I come out, load up a different preset, and go back into PC Test. Now we're on 14. <laughs> That's my mess up with you. Okay. So some people well I'll tell, I'll tell you what we can do. We can we can look at um, what else we can do with the MIDI. So if I look in the manual here, what else can we do? Here's the MIDI commands. Okay, so we can set the master volume, which is CC7. So if I come back into here, and back into Window Command Center, and click my second pedal, and the number was 15, wasn't it? Sorry, seven, seven, and it's not to 127. So if I set that to CC, and set the CC value to seven, and that's naught. Now, 127 is going to blast me out, so I'm just going to drop it right down to just 20. Click done. And if I just video this, so you can see, so that's my second pedal there. And um, just pop that back there. easy it's easy how might you have um, this set up on stage so you could use the use the power cab as just um, like a monitor um, and you might just go straight out from the helix to the front of house which is what I normally do but obviously you're not going to get the the nice speaker sounds from the power cab if you do that so you might want to go to the power cab um, and then go out from the power cab to, to the front of house. Um, 
yeah, there's, there's d different ways of doing it. Different ways of doing it. Some of you might be interested in how I'm controlling the uh, power cab with this MK Mini. So all I'm doing there is I've got um, some software, some MIDI software here, which is called MIDI OX, and you can see here I've got um, the input is the MIDI device, and the output is the power cab. And every time I do something here, it updates, um, it changes the speaker configuration. So, I think that's it. Um, I thoroughly recommend the Power Cab. Um, whether you need the, the Power Cab or the Power Cab Plus, you know, there's not much in it. Um, you know, you can do a lot of the stuff on the Helix, but it does free up um, a lot of processor um, for doing other things. Um, I often run out of processor with what I'm doing. So it's nice to be able to dump it onto the um, power cab. I recommend that you sort of cut and paste your patches that you use a lot and maybe put PC at the end for power cab and then you can take out the cabinet and do other things with them. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed that. Please subscribe and click the bell and I'll be posting some more videos about power cab, Helix and other guitar stuff soon. Okay, cheers.